What What's up, up buddy? How are you doing? Good. Nothing much, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. What are we doing today? Oh man, what are we doing? Well, we're dropping off your truck at Shane's for a little... Uh... For starters, you see how only one works? <laughs> <laughs> so, we gotta get that fixed. That's gonna be the first well, It's like thing. a McLaren, it just oh, has one. Dude, it's awful. It's awful. So yeah, that just happened. That's hilarious, dude. It at least you got a banging sound system, though. At least yeah. you got that. It's My right. speakers don't even work. Really? Not really. First off, it looks fire in here. Looks good. Looks good. Fits right in. Too bad I'm not keeping it. Looks but. like you're missing a vet, man. Looks like I know. Looks like I am missing a Corvette in the garage. Yeah. I'm also missing my McLaren, which is broken. All you have is the trucks. Yeah. It's all I got is trucks, man. Someone left a comment. If I win the vet, can I trade it in for the Blazer? Somebody said that? Yeah. I was like, yeah, well, yeah that's, absolutely that's, is the answer to that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, hey, that's crazy, but I appreciate your love for the Blazer. Yeah. I, I love the Blazer so people much. do love that. I know. For whatever reason. Yeah. It's cool. It's an old, old little cool. truck. All right, buddy. I'll, I'll take you over there on this beautiful day. Or well, I'll be your ride gorgeous home, actually. Day. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, guys. Going to PDW. Sorry, it's. I didn't even do an intro. It's a. It's a terrible day. I shouldn't say that. Any day that you're not dead or sick or whatever is a great day. Some people have it a lot worse. So I can't. You can't really. You can't really get bent out of shape because some people really do have actual bad days. This is fine. Shane calls me and he says he wants to do a little run, Hummer versus Blazer. Now, I gotta tell you, usually when I race, I have, uh, you know, I have, I have a pretty good level of confidence, I guess you would say. This one, I'm not so sure. The Blazer is not fast. That is to the floor. We just now hit the speed limit, so I'm, I'm not exactly that confident uh, in the Blazer here for this this run. But we'll, we'll try it. The good thing is we can do this and not really break the law. 30, yeah, it'll do it for the light. We'll yeah, we'll go from a dig. Go from a dig? Oh, sh It's perfect, dude. You ready? Yep. definitely not fast at all and not designed to be fast. I will admit he did get me, but not bad at all. Am I crazy or was the blazer like coming back on the top end? I don't know, maybe the old trans has taller gearing for top speed or something. I don't know, but either way, that was really fun. We're back at PDW, the other Shane's shop. It's got a cool little golf cart thing there. It's kind of cool. Trail rated badge on the front. Were you really flooring it? Yeah. You were pedal to the floor. Yeah. That's freaking, I couldn't believe it. Dude, when I was right next to you, I couldn't believe it. Dude, I couldn't. I about had a stroke in there. I was like, there's no way this, this is happening right now. Dude. But why, you would think it's fast. It's got the V8. Yeah, but it's got, I don't know. It, it must be heavy. It's gotta be heavy. It's gotta be heavy. The wheels are definitely heavy. Well, the, yeah, the wheels, but I got the same size. 33, 12 and a half. But you're, yeah, actually your wheels are definitely way heavier than mine. Yeah. That's hilarious. The yeah, Blazer what? did good, dude. I know, dude. It sounds good with us. Yours is out of Is it? Mm -hmm. All right, now listen here. Blazer and the Hummer, who do you think won? Blazer. 
You called that? Yeah. Well, damn, I didn't call that at all. I thought I was going to get smoked. <laughs> Shay, obviously, Shay knows something I don't. So there you go. That's a 5'7", and that's only a fucking 5'3". But it's much newer. No matter. <laughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> your wife don't even want you. That's why you're here with a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> Whose wife does like it? <laughs> your wife don't like you. I ain't no who <laughs> are. Shut the... Door. You can't say that when you're on the video. I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> You can have any video you, you want. You might offend somebody and say whole pack of you. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the other one doesn't work. Don't do well. Yeah. The heat gives out every now and then. It'll turn back on there too. But it's working now, so there's nothing really we can do about it. <laughs> so it's working now. Yeah. Dude, it shut off and we went on that ski trip. It was like five below and the, my heat wouldn't work. <laughs> It was awful. My freaking windows fogged up, ice dumped. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Oh man, I was well, like, that's get why you out of here. Be snowboarding and skiing. You want to be all right. I'm alive because I have it scheduled with somebody else. No, the only thing you can do, unless who's going to do it? Because most places don't even want to do it with the tires on. It's uh, someplace in New York. Really. Tire Mart will do it on 22. Uh, well, well, they do it with the them tires. I had it done. Yeah. Small enough, he can fit that on his lift. Yeah, that should fit. But I mean, by far his biggest issue is he is barely faster than a 97 Blazer. <laughs> he said he wants to put a supercharger on. Oh, I, then he'll be a lot faster. You know, I'll wait for him to show up with a supercharger and say, here, figure it out. I know, right? <laughs> Dude, all we need to do, they said use a Trailblazer SS bracket system and go off of that. Said if that works, we can do pretty much any that blower. That would be sick. LSA blower? We could do a Kenny Bell, we could do a Magnuson, we could do an LS, we could LSA, we Dude, could do put a Put a 2.8 Whipple on it. I, we could do a Whipple. I want. I was thinking so a loud. Kenny Bell. <laughs> Dude, a Whipple so loud. Oh yeah. Louder like, than a Kenny Bell? Yeah. Whipple's like one of the loudest. Well, loudest I want to do whatever's the loudest. Is. Like Whipple's like one yeah, of the loudest. Yeah, I want it to, I want it to scream. Good luck. God, that car is so freaking cool. So Shane is taking that back to the shop. Uh, a little trip in the rain, but we'll get it all cleaned up. Don't worry, we'll, we'll have it cleaned up for you by the time one of you wins it. <laughs> it's a sweet car. A lot of you have been commenting this in the videos and I got to thinking about it like a week ago and I was like, you know what, that's not a bad idea. Let's put the big rack back on the truck. Always loved the way the uh, chase rack, the tire carrier, the back rack, whatever, you, headache rack, whatever the hell you wanna call it, I always loved the way it looked on the truck. Uh, now I did take it off for last year's, uh, after last year's Motorama when we took off the winter camo wrap. Um, and I forget why, there were a few, th actually, I, now that I'm talking about it, I kind of remember. Um, there were a few things I didn't like about it. The welds uh, weren't that clean. The guy who made it was kind of in a rush uh, for the show last year. Um, and the coating, it's like a, it was like a cheap truck bed coating and that's how it was painted. Um, that was coming off in some places. So I do want to get that all taken care of. I want to get the welds cleaned up, maybe grind it or whatever you have to do. And I want to get it repainted and recoded in a better truck bed coating because it, it does look badass. Like from five yards away, you can't tell, but there are a few little things up close that I don't like, and I'm very, when it comes to my Duramax, I'm very OCD, the Blazer, I don't really care. I do wanna take care of those little issues, uh, but I, I also wanna really see what it looks like because it's been a while. Now the bad news, well, let me start with the good news. The good news is the rack is, uh, you know, safe. It's been sitting here. That's good. The bad news is it's really freaking heavy and it's also covered by my pool stuff a garden hose, some chairs, a bicycle, you know, your normal stuff that people don't really need and they shove it somewhere in a room just like this and they, and they don't ever use it. Um, damn. Let me, let me, let me get the, let me get it out of here. Look at this. It's my pool buster. All right, boys. All right, now if this video never gets uploaded, it's because I died. All right, and there we go, we got it outside. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. You can see like this stuff, 
that bothers me really bad. That's, I don't know what that is. Uh, but I hate the rust spots on it. But actually it's not, it's not that terrible. So this right here, with all these bolts, if you're wondering, uh, this is what mounts the spare tire. That's right, I have a full size uh, spare tire that mounts on this. It looks freaking cool. If you haven't seen it on the channel, if you haven't been with the channel for a while, uh, it looks awesome. Sorry for the wind noise. Now I'm standing behind a wall because of the wind, uh, but I'll meet up with you tomorrow. Right, so as you can see, it is in fact the next day, uh, and it's very windy. This boy went through so much. I'll give the story for that uh, in a later upload. Um, but if you want, you can check out their Instagram at Three Bulls in a Pod for a little update on him. But super proud of him and glad he is uh, still with us. Um, but anyway, you can see still very very windy. I can't even go outside. Uh, because of the wind noise but the rack is on the truck and i think it looks really really good i love the i do i really do love the way it looks it's so badass and i even found a way to get the cb whips with the rack as well and i think it looks even cooler with the little antennas on it now uh like i like i did say there are a few things i want to change on it but it looks really cool let me give you a walk around i might not talk too much because of the audio not sure but it is so freaking cool guys so freaking good now i don't have the the front bolt in either so that'll come down but yeah and you can see the full size spare up there looking really cool <laughs> it looks so sick it makes the truck look bigger somehow light bar on the roof oh yeah really is freaking epic at least uh to me but this is where you guys come in let me know in the comments below uh, do you think it looks good? Do you want to see the rack stay on the truck? I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I do lose the bed, uh, the usability of the bed, but it looks so freaking good for the season. And this is a bold statement, but I'm going to say this is the best the Duramax has ever looked. I love the paint color. I have always loved on the truck. Love the tattered flag tailgate finished all the undercoating, all that stuff, the truck bed coating underneath. I got the rack on, new turbo, new tunes. The Duramax has literally never been better. <laughs> we, have, we have never had the Duramax in a better place than right now. And uh, you know, it, it's looking awesome, but I'm sure I'll do something else at some point soon. Maybe another wrap, I don't know. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys did such a good job on the Duramax twice. You did the bedside and the tailgate. Um, and now my blazer is in need of a little love. So I picked this up for 1500 bucks. Runs great, runs like a champ. But we do have a giant, I mean, there, bad, there's, I <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's basically no panel left at all right there. And my door, I did run into a tree. So that's not like necessary, but if it's an easy fix, I'd love to get it done too. I'm more concerned about the rust. I can see if we can buy an aftermarket piece put it all underneath this molding from there down. Yeah, I mean, I I don't care if it's not straight or what. I mean, if it just looks halfway decent from 10 yards away, I'd be happy with it. You know, that sounds like Fonzie Dome. That's pretty much what I'm <laughs> shooting for with this truck. That's anything better than a giant hole in the side, like that would be great. Like yeah, it doesn't have, yeah. Off, and we'll have a little edge here. We ain't gonna get in there finishing off with plastic and stuff. We can probably hide it underneath. Okay. I was gonna say, I've seen how you made your tires clear. Yeah, I did some good body modification myself. I think I, I did a really good that. job. Yeah. I mean, if you guys are hiring, I'm here. Just give me a saws all. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm gonna fix the door right now. This is pretty cool. It looks... It actually looks good already.
you go, boys. We are back at home, and as you can see, the door is pretty much perfect. That guy is awesome. Uh, Mike and Bob are their names, I believe, and I've had work done there before. Uh, the Duramax has been there a couple times, and they do a great job, and they just got the door done right there in about 30 seconds, and it's a little, you can still see it's a little dented, but it looks great. So the door is fixed, and uh, now for the rust estimate. Now, I could do it myself, which I have no idea how to repair rust like that or do body work. I could just jump in and try it or I could have it done by them. Either way, it's not going to be expensive. That is the good news. We are sticking with the budget build. It's not gonna cost a ton of money. They estimated about $800, which really, when you think about it, if that truck wasn't rusty, um, it would be worth probably four or five grand. So I think in that respect, that would really be worth uh, the investment. The only thing you can say bad about it is it's rusty on the body. If that was done, I mean, yeah, it would be a high mileage older Chevy, but it's a two-door uh, Tahoe Blazer, Taser. Uh, they're in demand, and that would definitely bring in a pretty decent price. Um, so that would be the cost to have it fixed by them professionally, like really good. I could do it myself, um, although I have no idea how to do body work. I don't know how to repair rust like that, and I don't know how to like weld a piece of metal in. So, I mean, I could try it or get somebody to weld a piece and then kind of do the body work myself. I don't know, I, we could try it. Let me know what you think, but um, I think I'm gonna go with having them fix it, even though it is a little bit, a little bit more costly. It's really not as bad as I thought it might be. That is the good news. The bad news uh, for the Taser is those body panels, like if it was a four-door Tahoe, we could easily get, they sell the little uh, replacement piece down at the bottom. And sorry, it's been windy here. It's just, it's like windy every day now in PA for some reason. So hopefully the noise isn't too bad. But for a four door, they sell this bottom piece and uh, you can buy it, it's like 50 bucks and you just cut the old one out and put the new one in. For the two door, of course, because you know, that's the rare one, you would have to buy, they don't sell the bottom piece because it's like the bedside and you would have to buy the whole thing. And you're talking about like a $1,500 part uh, or job, uh, I think they said in total, to replace the whole piece, if you can even find one, because they're kind of hard to find. Um, so that is the bad news. It's really not as simple as I thought. I really thought like I could find a piece, the whole thing for pretty cheap or this bottom piece, um, but it doesn't look like that is possible. The little bit of bad news for the taser, you know, of course, like I, I gotta get the weird one. I wouldn't call it rare, but the weird one and it just makes it makes my life more difficult. Either way, you know, let me know which one you would wanna see in the comments. Uh, do you want me to try to do it myself? It's not gonna be great, or should I bite the bullet and get it done by them? It's really not that much money, and I know it's gonna look really good. Hope you enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, take care, and have a great night.